Today, we are going to tackle a frustrating issue that many of you have encountered, the Street Fighter 6 error code 50200. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some troubleshooting steps to help you fix this error and get back into the action. Let's dive right in. Step 1, check your internet connection. Make sure you have a stable and high-speed internet connection. Restart your modem or router to refresh the connection and ensure it's not causing any issues. Step 2, verify server status. Before proceeding, check the official Street Fighter 6 website or social media channels to see if there are any ongoing server issues or maintenance activities. If there are, it's best to wait until the servers are back online. Step 3, update the game. Outdated game versions can sometimes lead to compatibility issues and errors. Check if there are any available updates for Street Fighter 6 and install them. Developers often release patches and updates to address known issues and improve performance. Step 4, clear cache and temporary files. Accumulated cache and temporary files can interfere with the game's functioning. Navigate to the game's installation folder on your gaming platform or PC and delete any temporary or cache files associated with Street Fighter 6. Restart the game and see if the error persists. Step 5. Disable background applications. Background applications consuming system resources might conflict with Street Fighter 6. Close unnecessary programs running in the background, such as antivirus software, download managers, or other applications that could potentially interfere with the game's operation. Step 6. Hardware and drivers. Sometimes, matchmaking issues can be related to hardware or driver problems. Make sure to update your graphics card drivers, ensure your system meets the game's minimum requirements, and optimize your system settings. Additionally, check for any available firmware updates for your gaming console. Step 7, Virtual Memory and DirectX. In certain cases, activating virtual memory in Windows Advanced Settings or updating DirectX can help resolve specific communication errors, such as the D3D Fatal Error. Follow the recommended steps provided by the game's community or official support channels to address these issues. We hope these steps resolve the issue and get you back to enjoying the game. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more gaming tips and tricks.